Our story starts on the 27th of June 2015 at Formosa Fun Coast, a water park in Bali, New Taipei, Taiwan. On this day, the park was hosting a colour powder party. The event was designed to be fun, and being a hot summer's day, it was anticipated to be a highlight of the park's event that year. The Colour Play Asia Party, as it was named, consisted of staff spraying clouds of brightly coloured cornstarch towards the park's guests, all whilst various acts played music on stage. The party was inspired by the coloured powder used in the Hindu religious festival Holi, also called the Festival of Colours, which is celebrated in India, Nepal and other countries with large Hindu populations. This was a relatively new idea in Taiwan, the first one being held just two years earlier in 2013. These are the promotional videos from the earlier, more successful years. At the Formosa Fun Coast Water Park, the party was in full swing. Party goers were singing and dancing on the stage. Other guests danced in a drain pool nearby. Around 1,000 guests were in attendance. The concert organisers deployed coloured cornstarch powder into the festivities. The method of powder application at the concert created an extremely dense dust cloud over the stage and its immediate vicinity. What this situation created was the perfect conditions for what experts call a dust explosion. Dust explosions can occur where any dispersed powdered combustible material is present in high enough concentrations in the atmosphere. There are five necessary conditions for a dust explosion. Firstly, combustible dust. Secondly, the dust is dispersed in the air at a sufficiently high concentration. Thirdly, oxygen. Fourthly, an ignition source. And finally, the area is confined. People near the stage were standing almost ankle deep in coloured cornstarch powder, and the powder was repeatedly suspended in the air using air blowers as well as compressed gas canisters. At about half past eight in the evening, a large fireball erupted when a cloud of coloured powder ignited after being discharged from the stage onto a crowd of a thousand people during a concert. Some of the crowd also breathed in the powder, causing respiratory problems. As recorded in this amateur video by an audience member, a massive fireball suddenly engulfed the stage. The powder caught fire along the ground, resulting in burns mainly to victims' limbs and torsos. According to the authorities, the fire was quickly extinguished. The rescue included help from army vehicles and soldiers, along with medical services. Many people were taken to hospitals via taxis due to the lack of ambulances in the area and the number of victims. The fire lasted only 40 seconds, but in this time burned 508 people, killing 15 and leaving 199 in critical condition. The injured were treated in over 50 hospitals across Taiwan. Most of the injured were university students in their 20s and late teens who had just started their summer holidays. As it was a warm day and being held at a water park, the victims were lightly clad and suffered burns over large portions of their bodies. Some victims suffered burns to 80-90% to of their skin. In response, New Taipei City's Mayor Eric Chu ordered an immediate shutdown of the water park pending an investigation. The man responsible for the event, Lu Chung Chi, was detained by police for questioning. On the 28th of June, the Taiwanese Premier banned the use of colour powders at private events until the investigation is concluded 
and the powder can be considered safe. The event's organisers were questioned and then given bail on the condition that they not leave the country. As the investigation began, it became clear that it was only earlier that same year an expert from the National Tsinghua University had warned that the coloured powder used during the Colour Play Asia parties might cause a dust explosion if the material was combustible. Investigators raised the question of whether the powder was ignited by a cigarette or a spark. Although the exact cause has not been determined, the fire department's preliminary conclusion was that the fire was caused by the sprayed powder and that the stage lights may have been the source of ignition. The supplier of the flammable starch-based powder said, if it's in dense quantities and it's hot, it can catch fire. Organisers have purchased three tons of the powder and wrote on their Facebook page that it consisted of cornstarch and food colouring. The vice president of Taiwan Food Industrial Company, which makes the powder, said that there are warnings on the packages not to use them in closed spaces or under high temperatures. The new Taipei City News Department head stated, it's still not clear what happened, but there were a number of people smoking and the weather was warm. Wu Feng University Fire Science Department instructor Lu Xu Xian commented in a letter to the Chinese language United Daily News that the event organizers had set up the necessary conditions for a disaster and had not used water sprays, which would have reduced the risk of ignition. Smoking was surprisingly permitted at the event, and approximately 40 cigarette butts were found afterwards. In October 2015, the committee set up by the new Taipei city government to oversee monetary donations related to the explosion announced plans to distribute the collected funds. Survivors were to receive between $65,000 and $6.5 million, depending on the severity of the injuries sustained in the dust explosion. The families of the 12 people who had died were compensated $8.25 million. On the 16th of October 2015, Xilin District Prosecutors charged the event organiser Lu Changchi with negligence during the disaster. The owners of the park, however, were not indicted. The High Court said Lu had been well aware that the coloured dust used at the event was inflammable, but had never bothered to inform his staff to the fact, and had not taken the necessary measures to prevent the powder from coming into contact with the lighting. Lu was found guilty of the charges in April 2016. In 2018, Lu was sentenced to five years in prison, and in 2016, the Supreme Court authorised the seizure of $507 million in assets from the Park Senior Administration. The National Health Insurance Administration also sought compensation worth $436 million from event organisers in court, claiming that the medical costs incurred by the NHIA total some $765 million. In the years following the incident, the government has adopted several emergency-related measures, such as the easing of requirements for national health insurance coverage for burn victims and importing a large amount of artificial and cadaver skin. As a further sombre end to the tale, two suicides were later linked to the event. One, a father of a surviving burn victim committed suicide. It's theorised due to the emotional toll of what his son was going through. While another man who committed suicide left it in his note that his skin be donated to the victims of the colour play party. His family saw to it that this is what his body was used for. And that concludes today's video on the Taiwan colour play party. For more videos like this, please consider subscribing. Thank you for watching 
and good night.